lovelies, I hope you're all well. So today we've got another community project and this is just slightly different from the box that we did last week. The only difference is that this one has got a lid on it. So it's all exactly the same. So if you haven't seen that tutorial, please do go and watch that. This is all set up for you. We've got eight centimeters, 10 centimeters, and 12 centimeters. And this is all carefully worked out. So it works exactly with two millimeter heavy chipboard. That's the Cricut heavy chipboard. When you get the project, you'll need to come in and ungroup it, and then you can work out how you want to cut it. But everything is color coded. Now the 8 centimeter box is the only one that will fit completely on one mat if you're using the heavy chipboard 2 millimeter, which comes in 11 by 11. So we've got that all as one color and we're going to go to make it. And I'm just going to come in and I'm just going to move everything just slightly. I just want to make sure that it's within those 11 by 11 parameters. We can then go to continue, we're going to go to browse all materials and we're going to choose heavy chipboard 2 millimeters. We can then go and sort our mat out and we can start cutting our Cricut chipboard out. So just to let those in the UK know that Crafts You Love have restocked the chipboard so it is now available both in the shop and online again. As always you want to use a purple mat when using your Cricut knife blade and you want to make sure that you've used masking tape the whole way around your chipboard. two of 20 passes it will always be 20 passes with the two millimeter Cricut chipboard and it's telling me that there's an hour and 10 minutes remaining so actually it's slightly less than when we did our box last week and of course if you're going to use 10 and 12 centimeter sizes you want to add about 10 to 15 minutes onto that cut time as well you also want to make sure that you are within the vicinity of your machine and you're constantly checking on it when it gets to about 12 to 14 passes it can start to become loose in areas so you want to make sure that you are watching it so it's on 12 of 20 passes and like I was saying earlier you do need to watch it sometimes it takes the full 20 passes but for example today I'm actually going to pause it and eject it at the 12 passes because it is ready to come out so that's all cut out as I said I ended it on 12 of 20 passes so you can see that all our pieces have cut out beautifully. Now I am going to go and paint these first. I'm going to spray paint them and then I'm just going to paint them a little bit just to add some decoration. But you can do what I did the other day and add some printable vinyl on there. You can decoupage them. There is so much that you can do with this. So all our pieces have now dried. So we've got two sides the same. And then we've got another two sides the same. We've got our bottom and then we've got two top pieces. So with this box I do advise gluing it together. Just use a small amount of Gorilla Glue along each of the joins and that will just hold it in place because the whole thing doesn't slot into place like our photo cube did and our top is going to be a removable top. You are going to want to glue these. You also want to make sure with this that your top edge all the way round is flat. You can see that I've then covered the top of my box in Gorilla Glue. I'm then going to come in with the second square, the slightly smaller one, and I'm just going to place it over. And this will then allow the top of our lid to have a lip so it will sit nicely on our box. 
you want to allow this to fully dry as well. So while I'm waiting for my lid to dry, I've actually decided that I want to add some pattern to the box. So I'm going to use some of my Leah Griffith uh, washi sheets, my Cricut ones. So I don't need the bottom bit, so I'm just going to delete that. And I also don't need the lid, so I'm going to get rid of that. I just need the four sides. So we're then going to go to make it. Now I want to make sure that everything is going in the direction of the pattern on my washi sheet. So I want to turn it round and just make sure that it will cut how the pattern is. Uh, because otherwise it's going to be all out of sync. Once I'm happy with that, I can go to continue and I can choose my washi sheet setting. done is I've glued on with some hot glue a glass bead and I've then got my closing and my opening lid.